Hurricane Barbara is intensifying rapidly this morning and is now a Category 4 hurricane on the Saffir Simpson scale with a quite well-defined eye wall and eye temperature well into the positives. It's got winds of 140 miles per hour by our estimates and a pressure of 945 millibars. It still doesn't make a mark on the CDPS scale because it's not expected to make landfall or pass close to any land areas in the next five days and as such we can't give it a rating on that destruction potential because there is no destruction potential right now. Way out at sea, no land areas visible. Here it is, 12.4 north, 122.1 degrees west at 8 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time this July the 2nd and it's likely to continue in a west-northwesterly direction. It's 638 miles from uh, Clarion Island, 859 from Socorro, 1120 from La Paz, 1254 from Puerto Vallarta and 2242 from Hilo, Hawaii. There are no warnings in effect from the storm. You can see on this representation where exactly it is in relation to those land areas. As you can see, it is very far away indeed. So not much else to say on that front. So let's take a look now at what we expect from the rainfall potential in the next five days. You can quite clearly see where the storm tracks in this rather distorted graphic as it is with the glitch at the minute but you can see how it's been progressing there how it will progress in the next five days a general idea from the GFS model and then curving off towards the west eventually towards Hawaii much weaker by then and possibly not even um, a significant tropical cyclone sea surface temperatures underneath the storm are very warm right now around 28 degrees Celsius that will start to drop off in about uh, maybe a day or two um, but at the minute it's certainly not a problem. Uh, you can see on this chart what's expected from the storm in the next few days as well. You can see there it is in relation to Hawaii. Towards the end of the week starting to weaken definitely by then. Uh, it will probably peak in the next 24 to 48 hours and then eventually you'll see it start to turn towards the west quite abruptly there and speeding up. Still a tropical storm by that point has reached the end of the weekend. The GFS doesn't think it will survive to Hawaii as a tropical cyclone you can see it there just about uh, still going as an entity but not a tropical storm chance of tropical storm force winds as you might have gathered is nil so there isn't too much else to say on this graphic either the storm is way out at sea and will not be affecting any land areas Barbara of course is the second named storm in the eastern pacific so far and the second hurricane so this is what the models have been saying recently. This is a little bit out of date now, but you can see there they were going for mid-range category four generally, some models even below that. And that's obviously not going to happen. It's obviously category four already. Wind shear is remaining low. So there is that possibility for further intensification in about the next 36 hours. Sea surface temperatures looking good for 24 hours. Relative humidity looking good for 24 to 36 hours as well. Track forecast is pretty clear cut. You can see there on the left hand side, models in good agreement with what's expected of it. So this is how the storm's been looking this morning. You can see how the eye has really been uh, appearing uh, and looking better in the later frames as well and the eye wall starting to wrap around on that weaker southern side too which has been uh, flailing a little bit in the recent frames but you can see it again there on the infrared imagery how the eye wall has been wrapping around particularly in those later frames and on more recent frames which I don't think is visible on this imagery it is continuing. The storm getting stronger at this time but thankfully remaining out at sea. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description. <laughs>